Hello everyone, today I'm at Tony's place because he's hosting Luis Simois from Portugal. Hello everybody. He's the guy who's doing the world sketching tour thing and that's his girlfriend. What's your name? Anissa. Anissa. From Indonesia. And now we're having a, a good lunch. That Prepared by Tony. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the name of your soup. Name of my soup. Soup be... by Tony. No, tomato soup. Tomato. Okay, now it's recording. Mm. Yes. Let me see, I asked some people to send me some questions on Facebook and, and YouTube. So mm. we will try and answer them. Is it? Did they, did they ask you a lot? Uh, not a lot. Oh, it's fine. Of course. This is the best, yeah. The five? Like the provisional one. There is now a new one, it's the six, right? Huh? What? So today I'm going to interview Luis. Yeah, he's actually here in Singapore because he's passing through. He just went to Indonesia to mm -hmm. visit. Uh, to go to, uh, to, well, to visit her family oh, and then also to have a break from the trip. Oh, okay. And then we are going to Namibia to mm. continue our trip from south to north oh. Africa. Namibia. Namibia with Namibia. an N. Yeah. Namibia. Yeah. It's close with South South Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah, on the west coast. Oh, so when do you start this world sketching tour thing? The first year was 2012 March, mm. so a bit more than seven years. Oh, okay, that's very long time ago. Yeah, so I started Europe, Asia, mm -hmm. Oceania, South America. Africa, it's not the last. Oh, okay. So, what made you decide to do go do this trip, go on this trip? Um, a bit of many things. I was starting with sketching again. I met the urban sketchers. Mm -hmm. I wanted to also discover them around the world. Okay. Then I wanted to travel and uh, experiment my sketching abilities and okay. try to improve on them. And I wanted to have like a five-year sabbatic mm. <laughs> oh. experience around the world. And um, I did, that's what I did. I quit my job and I decided to just go for a, a long experience in my life since I felt quite free to do it. Oh, okay. So what do you do before before you went on this trip? What's... Used to be a um, motion graphic designer. Mm. My, my degree is in graphic designer. Mm -hmm. So I did many, during 10 years, I did a lot of uh, 3D animations for TV oh, and, and okay. all that kind of things. Okay, and there was uh, someone who asked, do you miss your old job at SIC Television? Oh, in SIC. <laughs> do you know this person, Edgar Asensio? Edgar Asensio. Uh, <laughs> I think so. Uh, Edgar, I think so. I, th I think he used to be one of my colleagues in, oh. in SIC. Oh, so do you miss your job? Um, not so much. I miss the friendship and, I, and the, the, the friends that I built in that, in that uh, company. I miss the creative sides that I'm always cl close to people that are creative and if I'm doubting of something, I can just ask them and we we'll share our thoughts. But not really, I, I think oh. I'm good. Okay, so what you are doing now is very different from your job. So what motivates you to keep on traveling? I think the, the curiosity is the f biggest engine, to be curious about mm -hmm what is next what is the next country how can i sketch it how can i also engage with the people on that on that uh, country and what is the things that i'm going to be able to do or not mm. oh okay mm. so i think a lot of people ask this question mm -hmm. fabian e where where do you get the money to travel the world to sketch well in the beginning many many ways in the beginning there was no internet almost to share our travel. It was very basic on blogs. Mm. So I decided to start with a little uh, commission work for a magazine. I used to send them my sketches and some texting mm. so they, they could post it on, on the magazine. Oh. I also save a good amount of money to travel around the world, which has been always my back, back, mm. my back uh, up, my back up. So are these sketches from your travel that you sent to, your, to the magazine? Not anymore. Oh, <laughs> this was like on the first year. Oh, okay. And then after the second year, I also stopped in Hong Kong to work for about a year. Mm. So I also saved some money from there. Oh. Then a lot of um, 
spontaneous um, commission work for, oh. for the sketching and illustrations. So it's basically like doing some freelance work here and there to get some yes. money. Okay. Yes. And once in a while I, I get hired to do some more long-term work mm. and that also helps to do oh, some income. Okay. And also now I have the Patreon. Uh, uh, like you, the patron, okay. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we try many ways to mm. to do surviving oh, in this. Okay. What are some projects that you have done, like long term projects? Um, well, with the tourism of Portugal, for example, oh. they invite me to travel around Portugal and sketch, mm -hmm. and so they hire me to just go to, to to areas that they wanted me to visit and mm -hmm. sketch the areas oh. they experience. And then they actually um, ended up getting all my sketches and they paid oh, for that. Oh, okay, that's very good. That's it was good. the best job I could have. Yeah, 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 that's a very good, good way to promote Portugal as well. Mm -hmm. Did people around you respect your decision when you told them that you are going to travel around the world? No, it was um, a little few members of my family mm -hmm. and also friends that mm -hmm. they actually understood and felt go and just do whatever you're thinking and portrays your mm. your dream mm. the majority they were very noisy trying to show me all their fears mm. so i i had to avoid a mm. bit the, that noise that was noise for me mm. uh, and just be more isolated from that sound mm. and focusing on what i wanted but I, I also have to say that that noise that negative or that fear that they brought to me mm -hmm. it was good for me to understand okay do i really want to do this or not mm -hmm. so their fear kind of pushed me to be more certain for my decision and i think it was good both were good the ones who were supporting and the ones who are not supporting was good for me to make a good decision and said okay mm -hmm. no i'm going with this direction and i want to do this way so what are they afraid of well my parents Oops. about stability um, okay. parents are always afraid that their kids they're gonna fail or they're gonna be mm. in trouble mm. or they fear that you know the road or the the things that mm. traveling can can make you mm. see and feel can mm. be too dangerous so I think it's normal mm. and then the, the the friends the real close friends they were more worried of um, well, you're gonna leave us and uh, mm. what's gonna happen are you ever coming back mm. somewhere even saying that oh in three months he's back he's mm. already He's already tired of what he's doing, so he's, he will be back soon. Yeah, but now it's seven years later. <laughs> seven so, years later. Yeah. So I'm do you still... send any of your YouTube videos to your parents and your friends? I do, although I speak majority in English, so mm. the Portuguese uh, family side that doesn't mm. speak, um, and friends that doesn't speak that good English, they kind of space out. Okay. But I do send my videos to mm. them, uh, the sketches. Uh, mm. Yeah. So were their reaction different now that they see or watch your videos versus back then? Yeah, it helps a lot. The, I, I used to say that the, the Skype and all this internet helps mm. to keep in touch. Mm. Of course it doesn't substitute the, mm. the body contact, mm. the, the feeling oh, of okay. space, the, presence. Yeah, the oh, presence. Okay, so just now earlier you said in Africa you didn't get to meet a lot of other sketches. Mm -hmm. no. uh, do you meet any sketches in Africa? Well, we just we just spent some time in Namibia. That was the only country oh, the only okay. country we did so far, and we didn't meet any artists. Uh, it's it's a totally different paradigm there. It's a, a, actually life. It's different hmm. in Africa, and that's what we are curious. It's to learn in first place how is Africa. Oh, okay. So I think I think actually art is a, it's a it's a different level of um, mm. being in life. Mm. You don't realize about art if you're still struggling how to put food in your table, how mm. to you know, live with the basic needs. Art becomes really, really out of your interests. Mm. Although people have phones, people try to still <coughs> buy new stuff, mm. uh, art is really underrated. So uh, I, I think when I say about sketching, people are curious, but the first question is always like, but you have money to travel, you're mm, lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how do you get around in Africa? I saw some videos of you riding your bicycle. Mm. Is that the main mode of transport? Yeah, that's our challenge mm -hmm. is to travel by bicycle and use it as maximum as, as we mm. can. Although Namibia mm. was pretty tough because the distance are too long between mm -hmm. getting new supplies of water mm -hmm. so sometimes we had to really ask for 
uh, a hitch hike. Hitch hiker. Okay. Is it difficult to cycle there? I mean, the ground is it? The um, roads we choose, they are difficult because we prefer to go on the secondary roads mm -hmm. to see more and mm -hmm. and also to be less in mm -hmm. the traffic. Mm -hmm. I would imagine it's very tiring to cycle there because it's not like really a bicycle track. <laughs> it's those roads for cars, right? Yeah, mostly it's uh, dirty roads oh, okay. that we choose. So mm -hmm. it requires a lot of effort in mentally and physical. Mm -hmm. we, although we are used to suffer on mm -hmm. the road, and Namibia was probably the toughest one oh, to do on the bicycle. Uh, Somehow you have to carry all your, your luggage. Yeah, we are physically aware of that and, and capable. The problem was we, at some point, the water runs out. Oh, okay. And then you don't have mm -hmm. any more water to, to mm -hmm. get it. There's a big drought mm -hmm. in Namibia, so yep. it's not easy to just uh, ask someone because there's actually no one. Oh, okay. So sometimes we ask tourists to stop mm -hmm. and ask them water or locals mm. ask them water to mm. help us oh, okay. and they were generous enough oh okay no. that's good so what do you pack for this sort of trip um like clothes do you pack a lot of well like, we i don't suppose you can pack a lot of stuff right? no <laughs> we, we we tend to be very practical mm. Mm. and if we need one shirt mm. just one shirt mm. so a little li lightweight mm. as well and uh, but raincoat, um, more specific stuff like a very lightweight tent. Oh. Um, okay. Then food as much as we need for the days that mm. we more or less think that we gonna spend on mm. the road. And yeah, that's it. Right. And then of course technology because we like to record. So mm. a little drone and yeah. and our camera, camera. action camera. Mm. Uh, she likes to take photos of. Mm of our journey mm. and also then an extra is my sketching year mm. which uh, it takes a lot of effort too to bring a lot of sketchbooks because I don't know where I'm gonna get new oh, sketchbooks okay. so I'm carrying five extra sketchbooks oh, okay. <laughs> which makes almost two kilos oh, extra yeah, or one kilo something. Do you, do you bring some of your gear today? Uh, yeah we have some of the gear but not really no. we actually bought two new seats mm -hmm. Uh, for our trip, it's what was our holiday gift, uh, Christmas gift. Oh, okay. Maybe we can take a look at some of your sketchbooks and your sure. gear. Yeah. Like, uh, because some of the some of the viewers they are quite interested mm. uh, with what you pack. Yeah, mm -hmm. if they see one of my my videos on on, mm. on of Namibia, mm -hmm. I really show the mm. the packing. Mm. So, what have you lost anything while you're traveling? <laughs> many times oh. um, well not many but yeah some some bottles sometimes we forget um, bottles right. the, 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 the water the, yeah, yeah the oh, bottle okay. of water um, the fact that we carry so little things we mm. tend to always know the organization so if there's a mm. space missing mm. then we know something is missing something is missing oh, okay. so we don't really we don't really miss that much right uh, but three yeah. bottles. Yes. Three bottles of water. Uh -huh. It's all of his bottles. <laughs> yeah. You just, you mean lost. Yeah. You forgot. We just forgot, oh, just and forgot then we don't want to go back to get them. Oh, okay. If it was something like a computer, mm. then of course we will go back. <laughs> yeah, oh. I lost the credit card. Huh? Credit card? How do you lose it? Well, she it's just forgot that. on the machine and then when she went back it was gone oh okay but yeah. no nothing bad, no but... we didn't lost it oh okay that's good is it safe to travel where you are where you are like the countries that you have been uh, is safety a concern well um sometimes at the what is it in the news in the mm -hmm. television is a bit uh they exaggerated mm -hmm. a little bit so Yes, we aware of if something that is not right. Mm. Uh, but so far we are fine. Oh. Nothing, nothing really happened to okay. us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Some That's people that. will try their luck. Mm. So we just need to be aware of the circumstances. Oh, okay. We know what we're doing is very mm. unusual. Mm. So we also know that we need the locals to help us to mm. find a place to camp and in mm. a in a nice way. So. Mm. Generally, people tend to be with us because they mm. also see our effort. Mm. So, so until now, 
Of course, some people are not so open, more more reserved, that they don't really want to to be outspoken outspoken with us. So, we that's the, the hardest part is when we need a help is to break that mm -hmm. ice from people. Try to explain them that we are not rich. Mm -hmm. We are just traveling in an affordable way for us, and we want to experience the adventure on the bicycle. Mm -hmm and try to make them understand our journey and and so they could let us stay mm -hmm. in their garden or their house or for one night and oh. then the next day we can go so we have a lot of experiences and 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 moments with families that they opened their house mm -hmm. once they understood that we were they were safe if they mm -hmm. let us come oh. in and amazing stories and and mm -hmm. memories that we will always remember of oh course. so sometimes you stay by camping outside? outside. Many times. Many that's, times so. that's actually our goal is to do it as much as we can because that's where you afford most of the mm. on the trip is uh, by cooking yourself and camping you afford a lot of money if mm. you don't have to pay hotel oh. all nights or okay. hostels or whatever. So and that's why you also invested on a good gear to sleep good on a good mm. mattress a good tent so we mm. are almost safe problem is in africa things are a bit more complicated when you have elephants or lions oh. roaming around and people will say they exist so uh, take your chances oh, but okay. it can happen oh have you seen any wild animals not in africa you see it mostly like zebras mm -hmm. giraffe mm -hmm. ostrich Mm. Uh, oryx, kudu, springboks, not the wild boar, not the dangerous. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> really, we we saw the paws, but oh. nothing. Oh. We saw. We hear the sound. Uh huh. Yeah, but. One uh, one one night we were camping in the wrong place. I mm -hmm. think it was on the, on the valley, and the, one of the. During like in the middle of the night, we hear like a huge cat, mm. roaring. And of course, there was two things, or a leopard or um, cheetah. a cheetah. And we we were that scared oh. because they don't walk. Uh -huh. I mean, they walk, but you don't listen. Yeah, yeah. You so you, we, and of course, they could smell us. Mm. But eventually, these, uh, these animals, they don't really hunt humans. They mm. hunt other species. Mm. Uh, but if they are really hungry and because there is a big drought, mm chances mm -hmm. are, are higher but lucky we stayed quiet we couldn't sleep for quite a long time after that but then our bodies were tired so oh. we ended up sleeping <laughs> and the next day we tried to see nothing yeah, happening nothing happened. we tried to always go to bed uh really before dark, before dark before oh. and yeah. then get out after right when, when the, first the, light, yeah. the first oh. light so yeah, you can spend more time traveling Ex as well and also to prevent uh, mm. being in the dark with wild animals oh, yeah, yeah. and also the next time if people are w hearing us and uh, if they want to know what's the best thing to do is try to find higher tops mm. to higher higher places mountains hills to stay because mm -hmm. then animals they will not show up so often okay so I have a question from Ilio Ju Jr. Is it difficult to see a beautiful place and you want to draw that place but you don't have time to draw it? Especially on a bicycle, yes. Yeah. Bicycle requires you to keep moving mm -hmm. uh, to reach at least... Uh, so you use less time to, to reach mm. the, the next des destination where you can get water or food. Mm. So when I'm traveling on a bus, mm. cars or trains, it's much easier even to relax and take a rest when you're mm. on traveling. Mm. In our case, our travel is always consuming energy, so it's tough. The decisions are made by, have I ever sketched this? Is it unique enough? Mm. So if, I, if, if the answer is almost like, no, I never sketched this, then I do it. Mm. There's no chances I would try to skip it. Mm. And so that's my barometer. Uh, most of the times we are really tired so mm -hmm. I can spend one two three days without any without sketching oh, yeah. okay. which means that we are camping cooking finding spots dealing with the heat that sometimes 45 50 degrees up mm -hmm. and so it's so consuming that the sketching even if I really wish to mm -hmm. I cannot so mm -hmm. I take pictures I try to document the trip mm -hmm. how hard it's been and that's it mm -hmm. okay. and when I get energy again then I sketch okay I can understand because when I go traveling 
I was like, wow, we want to sketch this, 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 this. <laughs> There's just too many things. Yes. To On a bicycle, though, it's so slow that you can see a mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you approach the mountain, the mountain slow, and then you kind of see from different angles, okay, now I want to sketch. Oh. But then if I lose 20 minutes, and you know 20 minutes, mm -hmm. almost nothing to sketch. Mm -hmm. So then those 20 minutes, they can be crucial for you to reach in time the, mm -hmm. the, the, the spot the, that you thought. Before that the you, sun sets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Is there any place that you have sketched that really stands out, that is really memorable? This question is by Lia Kagami. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's hard to choose, as you, as you, mm. as you may know. Mm. Uh, every moment we are in a special moment of life mm. too, but I remember very well the Great Wall of China, that I slept there and then the next day I went to another area to sketch. Mm. Uh, India, all around, it was a tough country to, to travel and sketch. Why is it tough? India? It's chaotic, hard to just find a comfortable place for you to sketch. Mm. It's very noisy, so for you to focus on a subject is quite difficult. Mm. And every time you sit down, you probably have lots of people around mm. you to sketch. So, And then it's hot and humid as mm. well, so you will always struggle to be seated under the sun sketching so it's not the most comfortable country to draw <coughs> um, and uh, again i was traveling on a bicycle on a motorbike there mm -hmm. uh, so i always had to go around on this journey um so i think those well and then patagonia was really interesting the mountains all the ice and snow that i never i was not used to draw snow because i don't live mm -hmm. near the snow so for me, it was very special to see that snow and, and, and sketch it. Oh, but is it cold? Very cold. It's very cold. High altitude is about 4,000 meters. So it's not Patagonia. So it was uh, very, very high and, and, and took me a while for, for me to adjust sometimes to sketch. Mm. Yeah. Oh. So what advice would you give someone who wants to do the same thing as you? Um, be sure about it mm -hmm. first because it's not an imp it shouldn't be an impulse mm -hmm. you if you do this you have to be really passionate about it because you will do it every day and every day <laughs> the travel is gonna really test your guts mm -hmm. and um, have a more or less plan for what you want to do every day I would recommend you to have a little project of even do videos or uh, sketches or music or whatever you like try to do it every day at least once a day mm -hmm. and keep that routine going because that's the most value you you will get in the end of the trip you will have experience but they will be for you mm -hmm. if you want to share them if you want to give them to someone then you should record your trip because it's the best way for for your memories to, for keep. You to remember the trip that's yes a... and of course Try to plan a bit the route, the, the money you can spend, the savings you need, mm. but leave a lot of space for the unknown. Oh. Uh, leave a lot of room Some for... Some extra cash just, for, just in case. Yes, and, and, and also room for you to say, okay, maybe tomorrow I don't want to go there. Mm. I, I will just turn right because I find a friend. Because the best memories are, are the ones I didn't plan. Mm. The, 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 the good ones are... The ones I didn't have any expectation, then suddenly I, I bump on somebody oh, okay. that showed me a new world. And that's why, in my case, meeting Ur Urban Sketches was a really mind-blowing because mm -hmm. suddenly I could see them working in mm -hmm. front of me. And oh, so do you get to meet any Urban Sketches while you are in some of the other countries outside of Africa? Yes, a lot, like uh, Colombia, Brazil, uh, Chile, Euro Europe a lot, mm -hmm. Asia a lot. Uh, today it's a huge community and mm. it's almost I, I, I'm, I, I'm sure in Africa exists but it's maybe in places that I'm not going like South Africa mm. uh, other other parts but yeah I think the best is uh, don't stop yourself because you have a fear fear it's important so you are not reckless but uh, try to overcome the fear by doing it. Start step by step, write on the paper all your thoughts, what you would like to see, because that was another thing. When I put my project or my ideas in, on paper and I read it, and I started to show my friends, I felt there's no turning back. Mm. Now I need to 
I need to put this in action. Mm -hmm. I need to show it to myself that I can do it or not. And then another thing that I realized by doing it is if I want to stop, I can always stop mm -hmm. and go back and start over or continue where I stopped it. The country is going to be there, the friends, they're going to be there. And you pr we probably change a lot more than the friends that stay there. So what's the most frightening thing about this trip for you? Well, when I was in danger in uh, Nami in Philippines, Nami in, in uh, Manila, I don't know if you know that story. Uh, somebody stole your stuff. I got scammed. Yeah, oh. like uh, I got drugged. Oh I, yeah, yeah. I was a bit okay. reckless, okay. and that's why my advice is don't be too reckless. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, I was with ladies that invite mm. me to just go around. Mm. They were on their 50s, 60s, mm. so I didn't really felt in danger, mm -hmm. and so I decided, okay, let's. Let's just hang out and have some some drinks. And in the end, they scam me. They they pour some stuff on my, my on, on my drink. I oh. I I faint. And then they it's this drug that they put you asleep. They ask you questions uh -huh. and then you answer. Uh -huh. So Whoa. they they actually took my credit card and they spoil all the the credits Whoa. that I could have. And it was like a thousand three hundred euros. Oh wow! It's quite a lot for a, a travel on yeah, yeah, travel around yeah. a budget. Wow! But it was a lesson for me in a way that okay don't trust all the uh, time make some questions when you're mm. trusting for the first time if you don't mm. have any background mm. from that mm. person oh okay so how do you get back from that uh, it's that hard way? it's hard to overcome it mm. because they hit you mm -hmm. in your worst or on your best thing about traveling which mm -hmm. is trust you need mm. to trust on people to ask them where to stay, where to go. Mm. So trusting is very important when you're a solo traveler. Mm. So they hit me on my 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 untouchable part. Mm. And when they did that, I felt I want to. What am I doing? Mm. Should I stop this and go home? It was already four and a half, five years ongoing, never going back home. Mm. And I felt, and it was Christmas, end of the year. It's very sensitive for my family. Uh, moment and I said if I go home I will have always always a trauma mm -hmm. so I should I should Continue. face it I should overcome this by myself meet people that is going to be important to overcome this and try to understand my mistake mm -hmm. and don't just blame everybody oh. and uh, of course the moment that ha that happened you get really furious mm -hmm. by yourself you don't trust the people you're you just don't want to see anyone mm. and then after i overcome that mm. and and then i came to indonesia and then i met denise oh, okay. <laughs> that's some time to get over yeah it, it takes like one month two months mm. i think in mm. my case oh okay that was actually the only difficult, difficult part. that's the most difficult part. yeah yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Well, then I had a, an, an accident on my bicycle. I broke uh -huh. my, my shoulder. Oh, the bike, the, the the wreck of the bicycle just broke. Got in my front wheel, and then I jumped. Then the bicycle came and it fell on my oh. on my shoulder, and I broke the ligaments of the oh, shoulder. Then how do you get treated? You just ligaments. You just need to be freeze like this. Oh. You cannot move for one two months. So that's oh. what. How happened. do you get help? It was tough. Uh, lucky was the end of a very uh, um, unusual road, like mm -hmm. a, a secondary road. And after that, like if seven kilometers, there was a main road. So a car passed and Isa was in the back. Really, she saw everything oh. happening. And I was screaming. It was really painful. Mm -hmm. I thought I lost my arm. Oh. And uh, the car stops. They put everything on my car and they bring me to the next little clinic, mm -hmm. but it was so small that the only doctor they had, she was attending a, a birth, mm -hmm. she was, uh, and I had to wait for yeah, about yeah. one hour. Wow. And, and then they couldn't treat me, they gave me an injection, because, then yeah. I, oh. I, no. and then they ha I had to go to a, a better hospital mm -hmm. like two hours away, something mm -hmm. like this. So mm -hmm. I still was in pain and bring all the bicycles wow. and all that. That's so it was, it was tough, especially in... The, the the days after because I had to keep getting the injections it was very oh, tough okay. and, and it's still not still not here yet it's not well <laughs> not <laughs> well because I should have stopped for a long period but I st long time. yeah I still I still continue so sometimes I if I sleep mm -hmm. on floor mm -hmm. on this side mm -hmm. on camping I feel a bit oh, of pain. Okay. or <laughs> cold weather yeah you know those old people yeah, that yeah, get yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
So is there any advice you uh, you can give people who might want to sketch overseas, maybe on <coughs> when, when they are on vacation? Uh, How should they look out for? If they want to sketch, there are two ways. Um, Meet the urban sketchers mm -hmm. could be a good one yeah. too because urban sketchers normally they know the city, they know the best spots mm -hmm. and they can you know show you the city in a relaxed way um, and then bring small sketchbooks mm -hmm. if you're traveling. I always travel with an A5 sketchbook because mm -hmm. it's easier to pack and you mm -hmm. know it's and light. it's light and it's uh, you don't need to spend so much time drawing mm -hmm. uh, something and you will learn a lot more because you have to squeeze everything in so uh, the, the, the less scale the better for you mm -hmm. to tell stories and try to be um, <coughs> extrovert uh, mm -hmm. don't fear to just be on the streets mm -hmm. and and start the sketch because people will come and they'll try to talk mm -hmm. to you just just be natural mm -hmm. there and try to sketch everything you see and different stuff because if you just keep one subject mm -hmm. because that's your comfort zone you will not improve I try as much as I can to go to places that I never did and then I keep thinking okay what I did bad mm. and, and I think that's the and and of course try to read when you're there uh, reading I mean in a way that feel the vibe of the country if mm. it's safe if you should be next to a wall or if there is people around you try to communicate them don't feel afraid in China people will come and take a lot of photos mm. so don't feel intimidated uh, just Explore. I think sketching is a, an excellent way to just be in one country and mm. people will come to you easily. Mm. And I'm actually spoiled because when I don't sketch or when I don't go outside, I feel like people don't come to me. Mm. So, because yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm used to always people to come to me. Mm. So when I just stop, I don't I don't have any contact anymore. So I miss it. It's like a a good feeling for me. So how different is sketching compared to taking photographs? So when you are too tired to draw mm. and you take photos of the places, so how, how different is it? Uh, yeah, I think the photo, it's uh, it's because I cannot sketch it. Mm. <laughs> I take the yeah. photo because, wow, I, I'm on a rush, I cannot mm. sketch. I think the sketch makes me appreciate the moment and what I'm seeing deeper and that connection, it will be I wouldn't say frozen. I will, it it would be deep in my feelings when I go back to my yeah, book I and I see it. Better, yeah. yeah. So sometimes when I sketch, I can remember the things that are outside of the sketch, yeah. as well as the thing, the scene that's in the sketch. And sometimes it's not on the sketch, like the, mm. like you said, mm. and something happened, and then you write a little mm. note, and then when you see back, oh yeah, I remember the, there was this thing happening and around me that I remember I was with Rob Sketcherman in a in a wet market mm -hmm. in Hong Kong and right we sit and right next to us there was like this fish always flapping oh. and <laughs> our book was always getting oh, the with water. with, with water. <laughs> yeah and 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 that was the joke of the mm. sketch although you don't see anything on mm. the sketch but you write the note and mm. and it becomes the story behind yeah. the sketch okay. so was the sketchbook very smelly <laughs> and us too yeah. <laughs> fish they they have a very particular smell to them yeah i, th I think that's the 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 always we always we are living in the time of life that everything is too fast mm. we, we we want things fast and we are always a bit rushing and i think sketching it's actually a, a way for you to stop your time, it's to take to your time, down. to slow down, meditate a bit, in a good way, you know, not, not like, oh, I'm going to be here very focused. And some people can be like that, but in my way, it's like a connection of, um, you know, forget about the problems, forget about what's going on in 10 minutes or what happened 10 minutes before, and just be connected with what you're seeing and, and try to... Uh, document that and be there because if your head is full of things then you, your sketch is not going to be appealing mm. enough in my case so i think that's my approach is also when i'm too tired of the travel means okay i should sketch more because i've been just rushing mm. somewhere else yeah, i have to slow down sure when you're yeah. moving too fast exactly so where do you share your work online I, mostly now on instagram world sketching tour mm -hmm. World Sketching Tour is the name of the project. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, on Instagram, YouTube, although uh, I try to make it as, as much as I can, mm -hmm. depends always on the internet connection. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, I want to do episodes now in Africa a little bit more mm -hmm. uh, deep. Uh, 
Mm. And uh, well, for for the people who want to support also the Patreon, mm. yeah. Yeah, I see the some of the videos on your YouTube channel. They are quite long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty five, sometimes one hour. Yeah. Are they like very difficult to make? I would imagine they are very Man, yeah, that's the that's the hard part for yeah, me because like the bicycle video that is forty five minutes or longer, mm -hmm. that you have to collect a lot of footage over a period of months. Sometimes it's just weeks, actually. Oh, okay. It, it's it's just weeks, and and I uh, record them almost the important parts of the mm -hmm. day. You need to keep focusing what mm -hmm. you want to tell on the mm -hmm. video. So, the hard part is. When you sit down, you have to go back on the story and mm. try to tell a good story. Mm. Uh, and it's easy to get unfocused of, oh, uh, there's a, this little bird here, mm. it's so cute, and you just shoot a lot of time with that, and you don't need that in the end to tell a story. Mm. So that's the, and always keep with a good positive energy to hold your camera mm. and speak to the yeah. camera or to explain what's going on when you sometimes you just want to be quiet. Yes. That's also a lot of effort. Or you should sh give vision or views of the, the space. So you have to, your tent is here, so you should walk over there and take a video oh. and walk over there and oh. take another video. And that's sometimes a bit hard. Although, uh, uh, if not, it's going to be just vlogging, you know, mm. just camera on oh, me, yeah, on me, on me. <laughs> and then it's just the guy talking. Mm. And I don't think that I'm very interesting to, mm. to listen. So I think the journey is more interesting. But also to stop cycling for seven days it's a lot of you need a place to stay a, a mm. desk you know mm. minimum conditions to work mm. on your laptop and that is always a, a problem where we're going to find that place how much is going to cost and and that's our struggle so far I, so far for example our views we try to make it from the money from the patrons mm. so we can give this for, for them as well mm. and more things and i try to I don't want just to give something very superficial. I want them to understand mm. deeply our experience. And for that, it requires seven, mm. seven days of work. And mm. it doesn't cover yet, but oh. I hope maybe uh, one day we get there. So for people who support your patrons, they can follow you. World Catching Tour 2. Fo follow, you, follow you behind the scenes. Yes, we try to, do, to give to patrons postcards mm. with mm. our sketches. Mm. We give our high quality sketches too, mm -hmm. so people can print. Mm -hmm. We talk with them, we, we ask them questions, what, what, where we should go or what we should oh, do, okay. things like that. Uh, and we try to explain what is our intentions in the future. Mm -hmm. So a bit more like building a community over there where they are closer to us. I think that's about all the questions. So let's take a look at your drawing tools, your sketchbooks. Okay. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Another sketch of Don's here as well. That's my girlfriend Anisa. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. Anisa, yeah, nice to meet you. My sketching gear at the moment. This oh, is. That's all the things that you bring on your trip. And that's and then a few extras, but this is all my stuff right now. It's a uh, like I said, A5 sketchbook. Mm -hmm. I can put it on the floor. A5 sketchbook. Is there any particular brand that you go with? I work with uh, Hanya Mula. They support my trip at the moment. Oh, okay. And then I have a little water cup. Collapsible water cup. Yeah, mm. it's light. It just shrinks and gets out easy. You can pour. Mm. Normally, well, on the bicycle, I have the water bottles. So I, I put and I do it. Or mm. I have this uh, spray to in countries that it's too dry, mm -hmm. I spray first the page and then I can use wet yeah, on wet. Okay. Then my tools are pretty much like uh, two real pencils, brushes. This is a normal graphite pencil. Uh, that one is, I just got it because I, but I use the, oh. the this one is the Faber-Castell oil base medium. Mm -hmm. Uh, I couldn't find here in Singapore this one. Then I use the Poscas for the brights. The big pen is my main uh, dark brush, uh, pen, sorry. And then some clips to hold the paper. And of course the palette. And the water brushes. So there you go, this is all I have. Yeah. Is this big pen waterproof? Yes, it's ball pen, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. It's waterproof. It's waterproof. You can oh. see. You can see on my sketches. It's uh, sometimes I don't paint. Yeah, it's waterproof, but the the beak can f the it can faint the the ink can faint oh. with the um, with the light. That's oh. what I heard. But I'm sketching on books, so they're always closed. Yeah. Do you usually start with pencil or do you go straight with ink or I do both. I do both. In here was straight on 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 ink. Uh, here I did a bit of composition just to make sure it get inside. Uh, here was straight, all straight, but here it's pencil. So, so it's just a, it's a mix of pencil and pen. Yes, yes. Depends on my mood, on my, and how, how secure I feel sometimes or the subject. <laughs> this is Malacca, by the way. Mm -hmm. Here, for example, you can see I did a bit of the structure. Mm -hmm. Then I did pencil, and then I I just used the ink. So this was drawn a few days ago in Malaysia. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's Tony. That's Tony, and I. You see, I I draw a bit of the, the with pencil just to get his his face. So I notice the red lines. What were they drawn with? The Tony sketch. Which one? Ah, here. Yeah. This is the the big, the other big. Oh, the red big pen. Yes. Okay. Uh, sometimes I do a bit of reds too. Mm -hmm. uh, depends on the subject, mm -hmm. background and foreground. Mm -hmm. So this is your watercolor box. Yes. So what colors do you have in your box? Uh, mostly they are Rembrandt, but I mixed a little bit with uh, Schmincke, oh. uh, Winston and Newton, um, many kind, yeah. Mm. I read somewhere that you don't know the names. Of the <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm. A, I'm so how do you mix the colors? Well, I, I I learned how to mix by doing it, mm -hmm. uh, and I learned the wheel. Uh, color but um, I don't really know exactly what is I know this is yellow cadmium and and yeah. this is uh, red uh, orange uh, cadmium but I don't really f have memory to yeah. to to think about that I know that the combination to get something yeah. uh, but I'm I'm quite spontaneous yeah. painter you know your colors they work really well so as you can see I, I try to mm. vary my subjects mm. So you, sometimes there are people, sketchers, sometimes it's buildings, architecture. Yes, exactly. And now let's take a look at what's inside Louis's bag. So that's the small pouch that collects and holds all the art supplies. Yeah, it's perfect for the A5 sketchbook. Mm -hmm. And so I always have hands free. Oh, that's great. So what are all these items? So this was our luxury uh, gift. Uh, one, this is Anisa, mine is black, it's mm -hmm. our Brooks seat because we're gonna do 15,000 kilometers on a bicycle, I think we need that. Then we have technical clothes like a shirt, lightweight shirt, mm -hmm. uh, then a sleeping bag, then this is our cooking gear, oh. this is our net, so if there's mosquitoes we have like a big... So this net will go over the tent? Yes, uh, no, if, if we are sleeping outside and we don't want to put the tent, we just put this, a mattress on the floor, mm -hmm. and we, are, we have like a net oh, to sleep. Okay. Then canisters, bottles, for because I lost the other ones. Oh. <laughs> then this is like a liner, a silk liner, mm -hmm. so it helps to uh, make ourselves warm uh, and we don't need a lot more. So we put this inside of a sleeping bag and we get my, more five degrees. Um, this is a cover for the bag, headlamp, uh, another canister and a buff. A buff is the most important thing for us because there's a lot of cars passing sometimes uh -huh. and we cover our mouth. Oh, okay. And this is... It's just a buff. To go over the mouth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wind, dust, everything. Mm. This is our um, pills and first aid. Uh, if something goes wrong, mm -hmm. we have like a, a little kit. And also if something gets a hole, we can just stitch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a, a little yeah, fir kit. first kit. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And this wow. is... So this, so this is what you usually bring 
This is trip? on the panniers, yes. Oh. This this goes on the panniers. Normally, the backpack is to put the tent and some extras mm. uh, a little bit bigger, but this goes a little bit more organized on our pannier side by side. We use like two and two, mm -hmm. uh, two in the front and two in the back. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's very compact. Yeah. Let's see I'm what Don has <laughs> bought. Uh, instant noodles. Last, Why do you buy? <laughs> Why do you buy so many instant it's noodles? <laughs> well, the, we always cook pasta. Actually, when we when we camp. <laughs> yeah. I hope now you enjoy you it. More. <laughs> now I have more. I hope it's not too much for different. No sketchbooks. I never too much. I, I'm looking forward to see, to see uh, what I can do with this. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's it for really? this interview. Yeah, Don, you can. <laughs> you can <move> <laughs> All right, so that's it for this interview. I will put all the links where you can find Louis online in the video description below. So do check out his work and maybe support his patron as well. Thank Thanks you. for watching. Thank See you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>